Hey YouTube, Custom PC Review here, doing a quick, quick tutorial on overclocking the Intel i7-2600K processor with the MSI P67GD65 motherboard. So as you all know, we've recently built our own custom enthusiast PC with this platform, so be sure to subscribe to the channel as new videos of this build will be appearing in the coming days. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to do a mild overclock of the 2600K to 4.2 GHz on the MSI P67 GD65 on the new UEFI Click BIOS, yet still maintain use of all your power optimization features of the CPU. And we're going to do this by pushing Turbo Boost. So as we all know, uh, Turbo Boost is pretty much Intel's way of overclocking the uh, Core i7 series processors and it is already built into every one of these processors by default. Unfortunately at stock the 2600K only overclocks to 3.8 GHz so what I'm going to show you to do is push it up to 4.2 GHz. If you already own the 2600K and the PD P67 GD65 then you should probably do this. It will literally take you under 5 minutes and it's perfectly safe. Okay, so I'm gonna go down my list of settings, so definitely watch closely and feel free to pause the video at any time if you want to copy the settings. As you can see, all the green power options are on. Okay, so the overclocking menu. As you can see, everything is default on here, at least for the first page. So we're going to go into CPU features, and that's the last thing on the menu. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, and there's four values. And we're going to change those four values from 38 to 42. On this BIOS, you can't click anything down there, so you have to push the up, plus and minus buttons on your keyboard. Plus will bring up the value, and minus will bring it down. You can also specify the ratio limits for the number of cores operating. Maybe if one core is running, you want it to run at 5 GHz, while four cores are running, you want it to run at 4.2 GHz. You can do that. We're going to do 4.2 on all, all four of the settings, so just set those to 42 on each of them. Pretty self-explanatory. You can now go ahead and save and exit the BIOS. Okay, so here's the C CPU Z uh, on my computer right now with these settings. As you can see, the core speed hops between 1600 MHz and 4200 MHz. This is because the CPU automatically downclocks for you when you don't need the additional power. This is beneficial in many ways. It saves electricity, it uses low voltage, and by doing that, it helps prolong the life of your computer since less heat, less voltage, that's longer CPU life. Also notice the vCore, as it doesn't pass 1.1 volts too often during idle. That's a good thing. It's lower heat and longer CPU life again. Anyway, so here's Prime95. As you can see, the CPU automatically down clocks up to 4.2 GHz and raises voltages accordingly when I put a load on the CPU. There's some discussion about the max voltage you should run your computer on a 24 system, but I think anything under 1.35 volts is probably what you want to aim for. Right now it's under 1.3 volts under load, so that's good to go. I think this method of overclocking is better than setting the clock speed and disabling turbo boost because you still get to keep all the power saving options and it helps keep your voltage low, which will prolong the life of your processor create less heat, save electricity, and all that good stuff. Also, this is the reason why I use this method instead of OC Genie. OC Genie will automatically send your processor to 4.2 GHz, but it does so by increasing the CPU multiplier, which is the same thing as just overclocking it normally. I've also tested this method of overclocking up to 4.8 GHz. However, in order to do that, you have to set the voltage manually in the BIOS to 1.32 volts, 
At least that's what worked for me. Unfortunately, auto voltage blue screen on me twice while running the 24 hour stress test. So hopefully that's something MSI will fix sometime in the future with a BIOS update. Speaking of stress tests, after you do this overclock, make sure to download Prime95 or some other application and at least run it overnight to make sure it's stable. As always, if you have any questions, drop a comment. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I will be posting video reviews of motherboards soon, so stay tuned.